Hello everyone. I'm going to share an interesting and inspiring story with you all today. This is a real life story, an actual life experience of a fellow doctor. There was this young medical student who struggled each year in his MBBS course. I'm not going to mention his real name, so let's call him Dr. X. Numerous backs, demotions, anger and disgust from his lecturers, ridicule from classmates, juniors and seniors. His life in medical college was not at all easy. He knew he was not a good student and has accepted his fate. Somehow, after 7-8 years, he finally cleared all his backs and managed to obtain his MBBS degree. He came back to his hometown and was just trying to figure out what to do next. He knew with his limited knowledge he will not be able to clear any interview and work in a hospital. Attempting postgraduate entrance examinations was not even possible in his dreams. His parents were worried too. They had already faced cautions and ridicule from friends and relatives over the past years. One day they had a relative over at their house and Dr. X heard this relative speak to his father. Though their relative had no negative intentions and he was stating the truth, the words were harsh and hurtful. He said to Dr.'s father, uh, brother, don't get me wrong, but please don't allow your son to practice. He is not an efficient doctor. With inadequate knowledge, his practice will definitely endanger the well-being and life of his patients. Your son is a good boy. Ask him to change his profession and do something else. I think this will be better for him and the family. Deep down, Dr. X too had similar thoughts, but these words still hurt him. After the relative left their house, he heard his father crying his heart out at his helplessness. He blamed himself for his son's failures. This incident not just disturbed his family, but shook up his conscience. The doctor started to question himself, am I really this worthless? Is this what people think about me? Can my parents ever feel proud of me? Will their heads be always hung in shame? Can I do something to change my fate? Can I still make things better? A small voice in his mind replied, Okay, let's have a try. He was disappointed. His father was very, very much disappointed. But somehow he managed to meet his father and, and he convinced him to give him some time to try and make a change. He left his hometown for a metro city. He joined a reputed PG coaching center and started studying. He went about the regular grilling full day classes, notes, exams and library hours for a year. But he was feeling lost. He did not understand a word. His few friends from same college were at the same coaching center and they mocked him for even thinking about giving the PG entrance examination. His confidence was zero. And the small flicker of hope that brought him here was dying out fast. He got a rank of 68,000 plus in his first attempt. And one more time he was shattered and hopeless. But he decided to try for another year and one last time. Again he joined a library and online, online exam series. And one day he was sitting in the library lost in his thoughts. He saw a senior doctor engrossed in a thick book kept in front of him. And Dr. X felt like speaking to him as the fellow seemed very intelligent with a serious but spectacular face and receding hairline. He went up to the senior and introduced himself and sought help for his preparation. Senior doctor looked from his book and smiled at him. He was actually a DM gastro preparing for his final exams. He asked Dr. X a question. My dear friend, how many times do you think I have read this book? He said pointing to the thick book in front of him. Dr. X looked at the worn out appearance of the book, each line highlighted with marker pens, sticky notes protruding from almost every page and guessed that this must have been read at least for four or five times. Senior replied, I have read and revised this book over 20 times until now. And Dr. X was dumbfounded. He said, how come? Senior, after hearing Dr. X's story, advised him to continue doing what he started. It is all but natural to feel lost in the beginning. And you begin to understand only when you have finished the entire subject four or five times. The next four or five times you improvise the concepts and only later you reach the level when you can actually master it. 
The only rule is to keep revising. Don't even count the number of times you are revising. Just day in and day out, you have to keep repeating the same topics over and over again. Hard work with persistence and consistency can make you successful. There is no shortcut to this route. Most of us have normal IQ and that is more than enough to win a game. Dr. X understood the point. He started afresh. He concentrated on finishing all the topics from all the subjects thoroughly once. Then he started revising the same things repeatedly. And one day his group of friends were discussing MCQs in the library. And there was a question which they were struggling with. Dr. X knew the answer and, and hesitatingly blurted out, I think answer is option C. And when they checked, the answer was right and everyone was surprised. This was a small incident but his confidence leaped by bounds. He started participating regularly in the discussions and fared well. At that point, his senior suggested him to write mock exams frequently which helped him a lot in learning mistakes and improving. After 3-4 months came the AIMS entrance exam. By this time, he was prepared with all the subjects revised more than thrice. He scored decently in the exam. It was not enough to get a seat but unimaginably good for a student who cleared his MBBS in multiple attempts. After this AIMS rank, he was sure that he will score a very good rank in NEET exam. He was persistent in his efforts, was not distracted by his newfound success and Consistently, he continued to revise in the same way. He attempted one All India mock exam and there he secured a rank of 550. The way he was performing in mock exams was outstanding. Before the PG entrance examination, he managed to complete revising four times again. He attempted the NEET exam with full confidence and when he was getting out of the examination room, he was very much satisfied with his performance. After a month, result was declared. And you know how much his rank was. He secured a mind-blowing 68th rank nationwide. What I said in the beginning, his rank was more than 68,000 in his first attempt and now 68th rank nationwide. 1,000 times improvement. What a glorious achievement. What a glorious achievement. And when he was asked by his friends on how was this possible, he replied, I earlier thought that I'm not intelligent enough. And that was why I used to fail. A medical student should not just be intelligent. He should be hardworking and persistent with his hard work. I just understood one thing. There is no shortcut way. Start studying from page one to last for multiple times and revise as many times as you can do. I just remember the tearful face of my father. I wanted to do something for myself and my family and I did it. And he said, if a student like me can achieve this, everyone can. So my dear friends, let me remind everyone that if Dr. X can do it, everyone can do it. Believe, start, work hard and persist with your efforts. There is no way you can lose. This is the one and only rule for sure shot success. Each one of us is efficient enough to try and achieve this feat. So friends, let's first inculcate the belief that we can and give it an honest try. Good luck.